Welcome to the Work Camper Show, brought to you by WorkCamper.com. This podcast helps you discover how to finance your RV travel dreams. Each one of our episodes will introduce you to people who are already living the RV lifestyle or to work camping opportunities all around the U.S. You'll also learn how to hit the road the right way and make the most of every opportunity. Now let's turn over today's show to your host, Greg Gerber. Today I will be speaking with an employer from South Dakota who is looking to hire four work camping couples next spring to help out at their campground in the beautiful Black Hills. Today's episode is sponsored by Work Camper News. With its diamond and platinum membership tools, Work Camper News is much more than just a job listing website. When you put the tools of this professional service into action, you'll find out just how easy it can be to turn your work camping dreams into reality. The one-year memberships open the door to a one-stop shop for all things work camping. Being the original resource for work camping, you'll find the largest number of job listings, be able to connect with a community of work campers, and view resources compiled by experts who've been enjoying the RV lifestyle for many years. If you're serious about leading a successful and enjoyable work camping lifestyle, then a Diamond or Platinum membership is for you. You can even get started with a free 30-day trial by visiting workcamper.com forward slash trial. Embark on new adventures today with the support of Work Camper News behind you. Sherry Bumgardner is the owner of No Name City, which is a campground located about two miles from Sturgis, South Dakota, right off the interstate and in the heart of the Black Hills. It features 60 RV sites and 24 cabins, as well as 50 tent sites. That means the campground attracts a variety of guests who like being outdoors. However, the business also discovered a niche in serving groups. It could be RV rallies, family reunions, weddings, or just a bunch of friends who decide to spend time together. A significant portion of No Name City's clientele are bikers who visit Sturgis for the annual motorcycle rally and see the campground as an ideal stopping point during their tours of western states. Sherry said work campers tag team to pitch in every morning to get everything cleaned up. They may be cleaning cabins, mowing grass, or picking up garbage. At night, work campers take turns working at the campground's bar and grill. In fact, they get to make up to $150 to $200 per night in tips. That's in addition to their hourly pay rate, which varies from $12 per hour when performing campground duties to $8 an hour when working at the bar. Work campers receive free access to laundry facilities and free ice. They also enjoy access to the pool and hot tub. By working at No Name City, work campers receive a coveted Black Hills Attraction Pass, which gives them free or deeply discounted admission to dozens of activities in that region. To tell us more about this opportunity, please welcome Sherry Bumgardner, the owner of No Name City, to the show. Thanks for joining me today, Sherry. I really appreciate your time. Now, there has got to be a story behind No Name City. Can you tell us what that is? So it's our understanding that the neighbor that has a campground next door to us, she named the campground, and it's a reference to Paint Your Wagons, the old movie. And when someone started building on this, like 25 years ago, they started building this campground next door to hers. And so she would tell people, oh, they're doing this down at that No Name place, and then it just stuck. That's funny. So how long have you folks been in operation? So we bought the campground in August of 2020. So we're starting our fourth year. Okay. And did you own a campground before? Nope. I came from a hotel background. So I just converted that into campground or hotel outside. Which do you like better, hotels or campgrounds? Um, A little. They're both different. This one's a lot more laid back. Customers are happier. They're here on vacation having fun. (laughs) So that part's nice here. Yeah. Sure. So where is No Dame City Campground located? Oh, we're about two miles from Sturgis, South Dakota, out off the interstate, and we're right in the heart of the Black Hills. That's neat. How big is it? Our campground is, let's see, we have about 60 RV sites with 24 nice cabins. And then we have a, probably 50 tent sites we can use. So we do fill that up during the famous Sturgis Motorcycle Rally. I can imagine. But wouldn't you be busy pretty much most of the summer? We are. We have become a group's campground. That's a niche we started to fill. We do lots of family reunions. We do weddings. We've had bike clubs here. We've had company parties out here. And how many work campers are you looking to hire? Oh, we are looking for at least four more. Four more. And this will be for next summer, correct? Yes. Yes. Very good. What are some of the jobs that they're expected to do? 
we all kind of tag team and get everything cleaned up in the morning. So it's like the mowing, the picking up the garbage, going through our cabins, cleaning them, making bed. Um, and then we all take turns working down in the barn grill. They get to make some tips. So that part's nice. Some nights are pretty slow. Most of the nights when summer gets going are pretty busy. We've become a local hangout too. So they keep us busy even if we're having an off day in the middle of the week. Mm-hmm. So we do a lot of some like our couples usually like he will cook and she will bartend or vice versa. And then they get to keep the tips for that night. When you were talking about four work campers, are you talking for couples, for singles? We usually need to, we prefer couples. It seems to work better, but yeah, we can look at singles, but we do prefer two couples. So four people. How long have you folks been utilizing work campers in the operation? Uh, They were using it before we came on and bought this. So we've just kept up and that seems to be a really good way to fill our staffing needs. It's real tough around here. We have no unemployment. People are working and our economy is busy. So it's hard to pull locals into work. Now, I would imagine these are seasonal positions. Is that correct? Yes. We as usually start about May 1st or 15th and then run till about September 30th. And how many hours a week do the work campers typically put in? So that we asked uh, 24 hours between the two for the site, and then they get paid for any hours over that. So if they were working, that would mean mm-hmm. that... One person would be contributing 24 hours for the campground or to get yeah. the campground and then yeah. get 16 hours of pay, but the other person yes. would get 40 hours of pay. Right. Very good. And Actually, no. Yeah, that's exactly it. Yeah. If they each worked 40. What does the pay start at? This summer, we did $12 an hour if they were working in the campground side and doing any of the cleaning and upkeep and make grounds maintenance. And then in the bar, we pay $8 an hour, but they make tips on top of that. Oh, that's nice. Some nights will be 150 to 200 That'd be really nice. <laughs> so are there any other perks that come with the job? Uh, yeah. So we uh, have a tourist card that they all get. So they'll we give them the card. They can go around to all the attractions in the hills, and they get either free or reduced chances to see these each of the attractions. I know you can go into some of the caves. They can go to bear country. They can go up and ride their roller coasters up by Keystone. So there's a lot of, lots of things in the area and lots of them are included on this list that they can do at their better reduced fee. We also have the pool and a hot tub. They get free laundry. They get free ice and then they're full hookup site. That's nice. I know that I've interviewed a lot of work campers over the last four years who have worked up (laughs) in the Black Hills who have marveled at that activities pass. They said that is one of the best deals in work camping today. Absolutely. There's so much you can do. And it's a tourist area, so things are pretty spendy, but it gives them a really good way to taste the all the uh, attractions in the hills and not spend a lot of money. How far are you folks from Mount Rushmore? About 40 minutes. That's reasonable, but there's so much to do there. Yes. Yeah. The Costco State Park has the Buffalo Roundup. They just did that last week. That's 22,000 people came to see that from all over the world. <laughs> My goodness. What kind of traits or qualifications are you looking for in a work camper? The biggest part is just personable and we're in customer service industry. So we just need smiling faces. And other than that, it's just we clean, we do yard work, pool maintenance helps. If you have any pool experience, the bartending and the cooking, we can teach that to most anybody. It's, our, it's a very basic menu and the bartending side. They're, they never want fancy drinks. We're a biker area and they just want their beer or a Jack and Coke. <laughs> That's easy enough. I had forgot to mention when we, you were talking about hiring couples, would you consider a family with teenagers and allow the teenagers to work at the campground? Sure. We could do that. Okay. And are you recruiting for people right now for next year? Yes. Anytime. We're ready to take some applications and get that all set up. Are you looking for any with some special skills in a particular area for a special project that you might have? Not really. It's pretty basic. We do so much maintenance ahead of time that we usually don't need too many special projects. And we are hoping to pour some concrete in the spring, but that's about the only special thing we're doing. And what's involved in the interview and hiring process? So I uh, asked for a resume sent to me. And we go through them and then I set up a phone interview with them. My husband and I usually sit down and ask questions and just learn about them, see if we're a good fit. Sometimes we're not a fit for somebody. 
this area has some unique little cultural things that makes sometimes not a fit for each person. We find out who's a good fit and then we just start hiring and offering them positions and we just go from there. What are some of those cultural things that might people might want to consider before they submit an application? So we don't care and we're not political here at the campground, but it's a pretty conservative area. And we've had a couple that have come in with some pretty liberal views and it just was uncomfortable for them. And I wouldn't want that to happen. So Okay, that's fair enough. Is there something a work camper can do to really stand out among other applicants if they really want the job? Yes. Yeah, have just a background. Have, I prefer anything to do with like customer service. That's a huge part for us. The interest in like the bikers, we had one that was not good at work in the bar. She was just didn't like drinking. Unfortunately, it's in nature what we have out here. So that was hard for her. So it's just basically the willingness to work in wherever we have with whatever we have to do. And our customers are definitely bikers. You have to like that culture to, <laughs> or learn about it. What, would it be helpful if a work camper was a biker himself or herself? Absolutely. They, one, they understand uh, what the rally is all about and they know what the rides are around here or they've heard about them because we have some of the most beautiful mo motorcycle rides in the entire country. And so we, if they'd ride their own bike, then we usually like to go out for a ride with them and show them around a little bit. So that's fun. But it definitely helps. You're a biker as well? Yes. When it comes to scheduling, how is that work or factored in up there? Do you have people working a set schedule or is it pretty flexible? It is really flexible. Like sometimes they need off for a doctor's appointment or they decided on such and such day they have a, a reservation to go do something. We try to be as flexible as possible. We are very weekend heavy. Sundays are busy days. But yeah, we definitely, we work with them. Okay. So when there comes to time off, they're only expected to put in 24 hours per couple. So yes. that sounds like they might have a lot of time off to explore that area if they wanted to. Yeah. And yeah, absolutely. So in some weeks, 24, we're done. But other weeks, we might need a little bit more. So it's up to them how much they want to put into that. And they can earn some extra money, but we make sure they, they definitely get a lot of free time. What are some of the other things that are attracting people to that area? Oh, of course, the Black Hills and Mount Rushmore. We're between Mount Rushmore and Devil's Tower in Wyoming. So that's not, it's like a 40 minute drive as well. And we have Deadwood or up here. That's a nice little gambling town. It's real pretty, very historic. Lots of cool museums from the old West days. Uh, and up there, they have events every single weekend. There's days of 76 rodeo. There's the cool Deadwood Nights car show and auction. And these are all big weekend events. And Pretty much the Badlands are about an hour from here, so you can go out and see the Badlands. There's just so much to do in this area. A lot of side-by-side -side trails. We have the largest network of side-by-side -side trails in the U.S. In the U.S.? Yes. My goodness. That sounds yeah, interesting. Over 500 miles of trails, and you can access the trails right from our back door. That's very convenient. <laughs> what is the one thing that you wish all work campers knew before they came to work for you? Huh, I don't know. We just really haven't not had any terrible luck with them. So we've <laughs> really enjoyed our, the people we've gotten. And a lot of them have become our family and friends. That's great. Where can people get more information about this opportunity? Uh, I usually have an ad up on workcamper.com or they can reach out to me personally. Camping at nonamecity.com. It couldn't be easier than that. <laughs> Thank you very much, Sherry. I appreciate the time, and I wish you the best of luck as you look for people for next season. Okay. Thank you. That was a short and sweet interview with Sherry Bumgardner, the owner of No Name City, which is located near Sturgis, South Dakota. The campground was uniquely named by a competitor more than 25 years ago who referenced it as that No Name place, and it stuck. The seasonal positions start between May 1st and May 15th and continue through September 30th. Work campers are asked to put in 24 hours between a couple to cover the cost for a full hookup site with additional hours paid. So if each person worked 40 hours per week, one would put in 24 hours for the site and receive 16 hours of pay, however the other person would be paid for all 40 hours. The campground would also hire teenagers traveling with their parents. There are no special skills or traits required to work at No Name City other than a desire to provide great customer service. Because the campground attracts a lot of bikers, 
Sherry said it is helpful if a work caper is a bike or two, but that is not required. There is a lot for people to do in that area. Mount Rushmore and Crazy Horse Memorial are about an hour away. Wind Cave National Park, Devil's Tower National Monument, and Badlands National Park are about 90 minutes away. The area also has the largest network of off-road trails in the nation. Sherry is accepting applications right now to start work in May. Work campers interested in applying can send their resumes to camping at nonamecity.com. Today's episode is brought to you by the featured employers at workcamper.com. These work camper employers have taken an extra step to share some photos and detailed information about their work camper programs. Opportunities exist for solos, couples, and families, whether they are full-time, part-time, seasonal, and even long-term jobs. Some are income opportunities and others involve volunteering at locations throughout the United States. Go to workcamper.com forward slash FE to meet the featured employers today. Employers who are seeking to hire work capers can learn about the benefits of year-round recruiting by becoming a featured employer. More information about featured employers is available at workcamper.com forward slash FE details. That's all for this week's show. Next week, I'll be speaking with the owner of RV Driving School about ways to get training to learn how to safely back and drive an RV. He will also describe opportunities to serve as instructors. I'll have that interview in the next episode of The Work Camper Show. Thank you for listening.